guys, I'm back with another video and this is the Mixed Girl Tag. I was tagged by It's Idara, aka Stephanie, she's actually my best friend, and she started doing YouTube videos and it's been a while I wanted to do this tag and she just tagged me so you know, I'm responding. So let's go! Okay, so what are you mixed with? I'm half Nigerian, half French. My mom's Nigerian and my dad is French. Uh, what ethnicity have you often been mixed with? Um, well, kind of a lot all over the place, but mostly in North Africa. Sometimes I'm asked if I'm Moroccan or Algerian. I've also been asked if I'm from the islands, like Haiti, 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 I don't know how to say it. Um, I've also been asked if I'm Barbadian. Um, at some point, when I was like, I was mixed for an Asian. I had bangs at the time, and I was like super, super white. Like the winter just took the best part of me. So, yes, that's what I've been mixed with. Is your um, hair curly or straight? Well, no, just kidding. This is a weave. Um, my hair, my natural hair, is actually curly, as in Afro curly. I took my mama's hair. <laughs> Was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Well, at first, no, because I was like in Nigeria and it was like there were loads and loads of uh, mixed race children and people from all over the world. So it wasn't something, oh, you know, I'm, I wasn't like standing out, if I may say. But when I arrived in was it middle school in France and it was like basically I was the only black girl there, it was kind of hard because they'll ask me things and do say certain things and I'll be like uh, guys come on like you know but not it wasn't that bad if I may say so yeah that's that's my take which background do you embrace the most wow um I'll say both cuz I'm I'm really yeah I'd really say both like yeah, honestly, I'd say both because I still like do African things like African food and watch African movies and listen to African music and all that good stuff. And, uh, my French side too because like my boyfriend is half Canadian, half French, so obviously we'll have the French there. So it's really a nice balance. There is not one that I promote over the other. Let's put it like that. Have you ever been teased for being different? Well, the only time I was really teased was um, when I was in France. And I don't even know if it's really teasing. I think it's mostly, um, what do you call it? Ignorance. Because, like, you know, like, okay, funny. You know, black girls know this. You know when the wind blows and you know you have your natural hair on and it just stays there and it doesn't, like, you know fall back. They'll ask me like, oh, do you put hairspray in your hair to, you know, to allow that to do that? Or like when I go to eat at the canteen, they'll ask me quite, they'll tell me things like, oh, you know, you can have second servings or um, that's mayo and you know, that's a microwave, you can reheat your food. And to me, I'll be like, what, you know, what did you, where, where do you think I live? Like you, like in the Darfur or something? Like, so it's not really being teased but it's I don't know and I think that's I don't know that's how I'll put it ever being ashamed of being multiracial no <laughs> no I'm never being ashamed of being multiracial because I think it's a beautiful thing um do you think being mixed has its benefits yes it does it really does um I'm not saying that you need to be mixed to be more open to certain things, but I do believe that being mixed makes you more prone to understanding a whole bunch of different things like faster and you know, yeah, that's basically it. So maybe being more open, I guess. What makes um, being multiracial a beautiful thing? Hmm. <laughs> Well, no, just kidding. Um, what makes multiracial being a, be a beautiful thing? Um, the fact that you know your your 
you're two parts of different cultures. Like, you know, if you have black, half white, there are different things, you know, like, and I don't know, multiracial people is so different. Like, really, it's it's amazing. Like, any advice to someone who struggles with your multiracial identity? Don't struggle. <laughs> Like honestly, don't struggle. It's um, it's a beautiful thing. Like you're, you're a blessing, kind of. Like I'm not saying you're on top of anybody else or anything like that. But when you think that, let's say, 50, 100 years ago, it was really, you know, like even like in the 60s, like black and white people, it was like really like frowned upon to like get married and have like mixed babies and. You know, like back in the like colonial era, all that stuff, where it was like if you were mixed, you were like called a half caste because you had like black in you and black people were like, caste. Oh, like, you know, get my point? So I think you should think about it as you being a gift and you know, like, whoa, this, you know, my parents, they got me, you know, beautiful baby, like two different, like, mashed and. Here I am. That's how I don't know how to say it, but that's what I'd say. I'd say you know you're a blessing and you have a lot to offer. Like you know you're 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 two parts of like different culture and just embrace both parts and just you know like share with the people around you and it's incredible. Like you know we're an example of love because you know you know like you have racism and all that and we're just like you know well. You know, two people can come together, different colors, different cultures, different everything, and make beautiful mixed babies. So, there you okay, go. Okay, guys, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And I want to do a huge shout out to my friend, it's Idara. I'll put a link below of her um, YouTube so you go check her out. She should be bringing out videos at some point. Um, yeah, have an awesome day. Bye!